Adex Daily Mills. Today, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step guide on how I make this lovely fried stew, which you can use to eat your white rice or white rice cooked with beans. This is the pure beef that I'm using, which I cut into bite size. This is my first scotch bonnet, two yellow bell pepper, two red and two green. My 10 pieces of raw tomatoes. Two medium onion. One liter of palm oil. Two nut cube. 50 grams of locust bean, iru. My eight eggs. A grated onion, garlic, and ginger. Open the peppers, remove the seeds, and wash under cold water. Then cut the peppers into small parts. Cut all the papers, open the onion, cut it into two and peel off, peel off the skin. This is my washed papers. I'm using my food processor to blend the paper. I don't want to add any water. If you don't want to add any water to your papers when you are blending or you don't want to strain it to remove the nutrients from the papers, you need to use the processor. This is my blended papers. I'm straining back my stock into the blended paper. Then I'm going to mix it together and boil till all the water evaporates. Mix it properly and boil. I'm washing the beef under cold running water. After washing the beef, I've added the fresh thyme. I'm adding my garlic powder, curry powder, onion powder, chicken powder and ginger powder and I'm going to add salt mix everything properly well together after mixing properly well together I'm not adding any water cover and cook open and mix the beef properly and I'm going to use my toothpick to check if it's done. If the toothpick goes through, it's done. If the beef is done, then I'm transferring it into a strainer. I've added some onion into the frying oil. And I'm going to fry the onion and remove it just to add flavor to the meat. And I'm adding the meat. I'm going to fry it till it's golden brown. Stir and fry till it's golden brown. I don't want my beef to be really dry. And I'm adding my mackerel. I'm going to fry the mackerel as well. Fry it on both sides. And remove. I'm adding the palm oil now to the pan to bleach. Use white tissue or white paper to check if the palm oil is bleached. Spraining back the vegetable oil I used to fry the beef back into the pan. 
then I'm adding half of the palm oil I bleached into the pan and I'm going to keep the rest then I'm adding the crushed garlic the grated onion and the ginger continue stirring five for like five minutes add the locust bean the iru mix everything properly well together stir for like two minutes I'm adding two tablespoons of tomato puree everything I use to cook this will be in the description below all my ingredients the measurement and everything mix the puree well together fry for few minutes I'm adding the boiled peppers add and mix everything properly well continue stirring and cook on very low heat you can't hide the heat now it's going to burn and you can't leave it either all we need to do at this stage is just continue stirring this is the beauty of this cake it's just the continuous stirring stir to the bottom you can see the bottom of the is not burning just continue stirring this is the beauty of this steel continue stirring and cooking on a very low heat I'm adding my seasoning cube if you are adding yours, make sure it's properly crushed so that everything will be dissolved inside the steel. This was just a mistake. Continue mixing. Continue stirring and mixing. Take to the bottom. And I'm adding back the remaining oil I reserved. We eat it up again and add it to the papers. Look at the particles. This is why we need to use separate pan to bleach our palm oil. Then continue stirring. Continue stirring. Cook on a very low heat. I'm adding my crayfish now, my old crayfish which I washed with white water and I'm adding the beef, the fried beef mix everything together before this stage, if you want your steel to be more black you can continue stirring and mixing until you get your preferred color but this is what I want and I'm tasting for salt I'm adding my fried mackerel, the titus it's optional, you can use any fish of your choice or you might not use fish either it's a choice you can use beef only to cook this or you can use assorted beef it's a choice mix gently at this stage we are using fish so that you won't break them and I'm adding my eggs, my boiled eggs the steel is almost ready and I'm going to gently mix everything properly well together. Food is important. It's almost ready. My steel is almost ready. Mix gently at this stage. See? This is the texture and the color I want. If you want it to be more black, 
before you add the beef, just continue cooking on a very low heat. My stew is ready. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell button for more DJ 